Chambara is a stealth game developed by Team OK and published by USC Games Publishing. It was released on July 26, 2016 for PlayStation 4, and on December 12, 2017 for PC and Mac OS. It received mixed reviews from critics, who praised the art style and gameplay, but criticized its lack of features. The game was nominated for an IGF award, and won a BAFTA Ones to Watch award in 2015. It was also an official selection at Indiecade. Gameplay The game is entirely local multiplayer and each player controls their own anthropomorphic bird samurai character. The world is purely made of black and white parts, allowing characters to hide in plain sight due to their solid black and white colors. Players can also throw a single throwing star which colors the enemy and makes them visible, and also air dash. One hit by the player's kendo stick results in the enemy character's death, similar to Bushido Blade. By pressing L2, the character's eyes can be squinted or closed to prevent screen watching. Topic development The game was developed by students at USC Interactive Media and Games Division. It was created to be played in a college dorm, leading to its couch-based multiplayer focus. The game's art style was inspired by Samurai Jack, Akira Kurosawa films, as well as 20th century Japanese art and mono ha and metabolism architecture. The game's characters were changed from humans to birds and blood to feathers because of fears that it would be too violent to be shown in festivals with young children. Having the player easily navigate the world and see the UI was a challenge due to the black and white nature of the art style. Awards and reception Chambara received the 2015 BAFTA Ones to Watch Award, which celebrates new talent and innovation in the video games industry, and was chosen by Indicate as a festival select in fall 2015. In 2016, it received the IGF nomination for Best Student Game at the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco. The game received mixed reviews from critics, with an aggregate score of 71 one hundredths on Metacritic. Chris Carter of Destructoid rated the game 75 one hundredths, saying that, It does one thing, and it does it pretty well. He said that, There's enough here to keep most people interested, so long as they have a steady stream of friends or a roommate, significant other to play with. Chad Sapieha of the Financial Post rated the game 71 hundredths, saying that while the idea of the game was fantastic, the idea was underdeveloped and would only deliver a few hours of fun before growing stale. 